In a newspaper's survey of 477 people, 53% said that we should replace passwords with biometric security such as fingerprints. The accompanying stat disk display results from a test of the claim that half of us say that we should replace passwords with biometric security. Use the normal distribution as an approximation to the binomial distribution. And we're going to use the display and 0 0.01 significance level to complete parts A through E. So we're going to answer the following questions to determine whether it's two-tailed, left-tailed, and so on. But we want to review this information first. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so the sample proportion is the same thing as P hat. Okay, and so in the way they figured out the sample proportion, they said that they wanted to figure out that there was 477 people and 53% said that we should replace passwords. So that means if we take 0.53, which is 53% of 477, okay, let's go ahead and do that. So if we take 0.53, and multiply it by 477. Okay, we get 252.8. So we would then round that to say, okay, well, that's about 253 people that said that. So to find the point estimate, what they did is they took the value of 253 and then divided it by 477. And that would be the following. So let's go ahead and do that. If we take 253 divided by 477, we get the point, the sample proportion, which is the point estimate. Okay. So there is the point estimate. Okay. Now we have the test statistic. So you can see here that Z equals 1.3278 is the test statistic. So we're going to round that to two decimal places and that's going to be 1.33. Okay, and then we have the critical values. So we have a negative critical value and a positive critical value. So let's round those to two decimal places. So we have negative 2.58 and then positive 2.58. And then we can see that the p-value has been now um, rounded to four decimal places at 0 0.1842. Okay, so now let's go ahead and go to the state, stating the claim and the opposite of the claim. Now, if we take a look at the claim, it says to test the claim, okay, that half of us say that we should replace passwords with biometric security. Well, when we say half, okay, and it's saying that half of us, that means we're equaling one over two. So that means that this represents a proportion, okay, and the claim is that it equals one half or 0 0.5. So therefore, this is gonna represent the claim. Okay, now what is the opposite of the claim? Well, the opposite of the claim is that it would be not equal to 0 0.05, okay? So now we're gonna use that to determine our null and our alternative hypothesis, okay? Oops. So let's go ahead and copy this. Okay, and now you want to determine what is the null hypothesis and what is the alternative hypothesis. Well, keep in mind here that the null is always going to attain the equality. So that means P would equal 0 0.5. So the claim is going to go with the null hypothesis. And therefore, the opposite of the claim is now going to be the alternative hypothesis. Okay, so... As you can see here, because in the alternative, and we're using the alternative hypothesis to determine whether it is a left, right, or two-tailed distribution, we have two critical values, which means that, that we, because it's not equals, 
that tells us that we have a two-tailed test. Okay, so now we can go ahead and answer part A. So part A is a two-tailed test. Okay, now in part B it says, what is the test statistic? Well, let's go ahead and just fill in the information. So up here we know that we're using a 0 0.01 significance level. So we know alpha is going to equal 0 0.01. Okay, and then what is the test statistic? Well, the test statistic rounded to two decimal places, what they want us to do is 1.33. So the test statistic is Z, which is equal to 1.33. Let's go ahead and put that in here, 1.33, and there is our answer. Now it says, what is the p-value? Okay, well, let's go ahead and draw, and then we'll put in the p-value. Okay, so we know that in order to find the p-value, Okay, we would need to use the critical value method. And the reason being is because we have two critical values. Okay, we have one critical value on the left, which is negative 2.58. And then we have a critical value on the right, which is positive 2.58. Okay, so these are the critical values and this represents the critical region. Okay, now we were also given the p-value, so we're going to go ahead and put in the p-value, which is 0.1842. So let's go ahead and put in our answer there. So 0 0.1842, which is our, it says to three decimal places, so we put 0 0.184, and there is our result. Okay, now it says, um, what is the null hypothesis, and what do you conclude about it? Okay, well, we already determined what the null hypothesis was, so the null hypothesis is where p is equal to 0 0.5. So p is going to equal 0 0.5, and that's where P denotes the population proportion of people who say that we should replace passwords with biometric security. So, do we fail to reject, reject, or accept the null hypothesis? Well, since we were given the critical values, now we can, we can obviously compare the P value to the significance level, and we'll come back to do that. But since we were given the critical values, we're using the critical value method to determine whether reject or fail to reject. So let's take a look at the test statistic. Well, the test statistic is Z equals 1.33. So the test statistic is Z, which is equal to 1.33. Okay, so what do we know? We know that the mean is 0. And the test statistic, well, where is it located? Well, it's to the right of 0, but less than 2.58. So the test statistic would be located somewhere approximately there. Okay, and so what do we know? Well, we would say that the test statistic is not in the critical region. And if it's not in the critical region, then we would say that we would fail to reject the null hypothesis. Okay, so that's because we were given the critical values. Now, what we could have done is also, if we had the p-value method, we would compare the p-value, which was 0 0.184 to the significance level of 0 0.01 and the p-value is greater than that and therefore because it is we would also say that we would fail to reject the null hypothesis so now over here we're going to go ahead and answer that we failed to reject the null hypothesis check our answer and there is our result now it says what is the final conclusion okay so we need to determine what is the final conclusion. All right, so the final conclusion is going to be based on what we have in our claim. 
Okay, so let's go back up to the top and look at our claim. Where our claim stated that we have the equality. Okay, now the first two parts of the conclusion says it does not include the equality for the original claim. So it does, so we're going to cross off these two scenarios. Okay, now the original claim does include equality, but we failed to reject the null hypothesis, so we're going to eliminate that third one. So this is the conclusion that we would say. We would say that there is not sufficient evidence to warrant rejection the claim that followed by the original claim. So we would say that there is not sufficient evidence to warrant rejection of the claim that half of us say that we should replace passwords with biometric security. Check our answer and there is our result.